Hi, today we're going to be talking about relationships and how uh, difficult it is for uh, those who have mental illness. Uh, I know in bipolar, 90% uh, of marriages fail that have uh, you know, one spouse that is bipolar. So uh, the odds are against me. That's not good. Wow, ninety percent, Maggie. That's pretty. That's pretty high. <laughs> so I'm telling you, you've got you've got a child and a husband, and obviously a working relationship, a yes. working marriage. So what does Matt do to support you? So if we have somebody who's listening to our show who's in a similar situation but doesn't know how to manage. Their loved one. What could you What could you say to them? What does Matt do that works? You know, uh, number one, that he is always checking in with me, and uh, he's saying, "Hey, Mag, what can I do to help out today?" Which is really nice. Yeah. And um, you know, just things like he's he always does the dishes. That's huge. That is so huge. He does help around the house, uh, just the regular housework, and he'll know that when I'm not feeling well, that just by putting a load of laundry in. Mm -hmm. So just going back to the simple basics is huge for me. And uh, sometimes it's even as easy as him picking up the dinner. I do cook dinner a lot at home, but when I'm not feeling well, just having him get the food and put it on the table is is massive. This takes the stress off because I get, I mm. feel like I'm just, I'm unraveling sometimes. Yeah, you know what it is. It's just the small things just to keep your stress levels low. I think uh, just mm -hmm. in our ca casual conversations over the past few months, it's a, uh, you know, stress increases everything. It increases yeah. depression, anxiety. It could ignite a manic and ma a manic and a episode and a depression, depressive episode. So um, now how do you handle, how do you, how do you cope? with it knowing what's about to happen well, how do you cope with that you know um i find when i get angry it, it is so hard to um say i'm sorry and mm. I, I do not like to apologize but i know i have to because a lot of times i am in the wrong which is very difficult and i do have to say i'm sorry matt you know and we're in those that that fight that doesn't make sense uh and he knows i'm way out of orbit somewhere and <laughs> sometimes he has to walk away uh, I turn into like a five-year-old, and he goes and gives himself a timeout. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to ask you. Yeah. What else does he do to kind of disengage from that? Uh, for him, his biggest, his hobby is golf. So he will go play around 18 holes, and he'll <laughs> say, Mag, you know, when I'm back, I hope we can have a conversation uh, mm. at, a, at a lower level. Because when your voice, you know, is very yeah. high, I'm just screeching, and and what gets accomplished there, and and I'm totally not even making any sense. Yeah, it's just nonsense, absolute yes. nonsense. Wow, it seems like you have such a supportive marriage, and hopefully, yeah. hopefully, people, anybody who's listening to this, maybe it's you, um, can gain some supportive information that Maggie has given you tonight. Yes, thank you, and uh, we will see you next time. This is Maggie and Tanya, and we're just keeping it real for you.